Alrighty, now that we've finished off the nose section of our vehicle, we're going to jump in and do some pretty gritty modeling in this bottom section, primarily due to the wheel housing and wheel mechanism that we're going to go ahead and create. Some of it kind of off the cuff in terms of how we feel it should work, and also, you know, kind of trying to replicate an actual, actual air, airplane wheel system. Now, I will go ahead and just say, uh, I'm not very familiar with the actual functioning system behind most airplanes, but I've got a few references pulled up. So just kind of going to see what works and, you know, hopefully create something that's going to be pretty cool. But it's this is actually a really good exercise because it does give us a good chance to do some off the cuff modeling and kind of figure out how things can work uh, and make it look pretty functional, but also make the topology good on the modeling and uh, put everything together. So this should also finish off chapter three on detailing the front section. And so let's get started. The first thing that I want to go ahead and do is to do the easy part just to get started. And that is to model this green section right in here, which is basically just going to be a piece of paneling that's going to come down from underneath this paneling here going to come down like this and then wrap around through the bottom of the light here. So first, I'm just going to go ahead and select this part of the model. I'm going to hit tab to go into edit mode. And then I'm actually just going to select these top vertices by right alt right clicking on them. And I'll shift right click to select these three vertices. And I'm just going to hit X and delete vertices. And I'm also going to select this section by hitting B and left click and dragging. And then I'll just pull that back to there. So what I've done is just basic, um, very basically replicated the overall shape of this gray area right in here on our reference. And so then I'm going to hit tab to leave edit mode. And on this part of the model, hit tab to enter edit mode. And I want to go ahead and alt right click to select this entire loop. And I first want to add a little bit more depth to it. So I'm just going to actually no, instead of doing that, I'm going to de deselect these ones here, I'm going to hit E to extrude. Uh, G to enter grab mode, or actually it's already in grab mode, so I can just hit X, pull it over along the X axis about like that, and then I'll go ahead and hit left click. Then I'm going to select this vertex by right clicking on it, shift right click on this vertex, I'm going to hit W, merge, and merge at last, such that it just connects right with that vertex. And so that then gives me that extra bit of depth that I wanted there, and also keeps this edge flow all the way around to here. So now, I'm going to go in and as a separate piece of the model, just to help kind of keep things separate, I'm going to right click, alt right click on this loop. I'm going to hit shift D, pull it up a little bit, and then left click. And I'll go and hit E to extrude, take it down to about right there. And then I'm going to left click, deselect this whole side by hitting B and then middle click and dragging. And then I'm going to go ahead and select this vertex as well and hit X and delete vertices. Because what I want to do now is select this one. I'm going to pull this back here rotate it a bit, hit E to extrude, bring it out like that, maybe scale it up a bit, and then I'll hit E to extrude again, take it back like this, rotate, and pull it up to roughly match that shape right in there. And then I can go ahead and alt right click, select the entire loop again, hit E to extrude, take it down a bit further, left click, and then I'll go ahead and deselect this portion in here, because then I need to go ahead and do some shaping over here. So first on the bottom, maybe I'll go and hit S and Y to scale it in just a little bit. And then I can pull this back to about right there for these vertices. Maybe I'll deselect those. And then I'll position these ones a little bit more. Maybe this one about there, deselect that, position that one, deselect that, and then position this one right about there, keeping that angle nice. And the way this works well then is I can go ahead and it looks like I've got an extra ridge right in here. And so I'm going to go ahead and hit Control R, add in an edge loop, slide it up to here. Then I'll select this one, hit G and X, bring it out along the X axis. Maybe I'll bring this one out as well, kind of smooth those together. And then I could go ahead and in fact, maybe I'll just go ahead and select these two vertices, hit X, delete the edge loop. Oh, nope, I don't want to do that. Instead, I want to select this one, hit W, merge at last. And then I'll do this one as well, merge at last, because then I'm just going to select this ver this edge, hit W, and subdivide, because that then gives me three vertices here, one vertex here. So I can just pull this out just a little bit to create a nice arc. And then I'll select these three, and this one, hit F, and turn that into a single quad, which still gives me my edge there, but keeps it nice and clean. And so now I can actually go ahead and add in another edge loop through to there, 
scroll it up, and make that nice and sharp. Let's go and select everything. I'm going to hit W and Shade Smooth. Then you'll notice we're getting a lot of these dark areas. So let's just select everything, or with everything selected, just hit Control N, and that will clean those right up. Okay, I want to go and add in another edge right along here to make this nice and sharp. So I'll just hit Control R, slide that down to there, and that will do that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and select, say, these three vertices, and I'm going to hit E to extrude, take them back along the Y axis. From the side view, I can say I need to take them back up along the Z axis as well. And then I want to just go ahead and fill in a face right here to kind of polish off that edge. And then let's go ahead and I'm going to select these ones here and here and here. And I'm just going to pull them back, make that a little bit of a smoother angle. Maybe I'll bring it back up a little bit as well. Then I can go in, I'm going to select these vertices and I'll pull them out along the Y axis a bit just to smooth that out a bit and make sure I don't have any nasty intersections. And I think that will pretty much do it for that portion. Although right in here where I've got extra edges, I'm going to go ahead and select these right here. Hit E to extrude along the X axis. Bring it out to about there. Actually, you know what, let's go ahead and do it with these two as well. And then we'll just fill in an edge right there and right there. Bring these back out a bit. And then I can go ahead and extrude these one more time, and then that will fill in an edge right there. And now if I were to add that in, you'll notice it goes in a full circle around there. Now that's not really important in this case, because all I really care about is this edge, which I can sharpen up a little bit by selecting it, then just hitting G, X, and sliding it over. Let's go ahead and select this one, and I just want to pull it in along the X axis. Maybe I'll go and add in another edge loop right here. And I'll slide that out just to kind of get an idea of how it's matching up in here. Something like that. And then maybe this one here needs to slide in. And you can see that that's actually going to work pretty well. On this one, I need to go ahead and select this side. Just alt right click. I'll pull it up along the, the axes there. Maybe rotate it a bit. And that looks pretty good. Okay, and actually maybe I'll go ahead and add in one more edge loop here. Maybe rotate this around a little bit. I'm going to rotate this one around a little bit. And that will just give me a sharper corner in there to make it very clear that how this shape is kind of going. And that looks pretty good. Maybe I'll slide this out a little bit along the x-axis just to ensure that I don't have a gap there. And we can just leave that as is. So I'm pretty happy with how that is fitting together because then this is going to fit together very nicely right here and then we'll kind of turn and wrap around right there as well and should work pretty well and add some nice depth to the model so now we get to go ahead and begin the the hard part and that is detailing all of this in here and one of the reasons that it's hard is just because we don't really know what's going on you know it's not very clear as far as how the design is we don't have a direct view of the bottom of the, the this front area. And so we really just have to do everything off the cuff, which is kind of fun and gives us a good challenge. So the first part is I want to go ahead and figure out how the wheel system is going to work. So I've got the wheel here. And what I want to do is go and hit tab to go into edit mode. Let's select this area. We're going to hit shift S and cursor to selected. And then I want to hit control L to select the rest of the wheel part here and also hover over the wheel and hit L to select it. And then we're gonna go and hit period to rotate around the 3D cursor. And let's just go ahead and rotate this down a little bit because that will make it a lot easier to visualize how this is actually going to fit together. And the way that we're going to do it is basically we've got this rotating down right here. We'll add in all the detail in here and whatnot, um, some pivot points and such. But we're also going to add on a hydraulic uh, piston basically that will attach right in here and then it will go out kind of go around the wheel and then come out to right in here such that it'll basically be able to push the wheel down in this direction like this all the way down 
until the wheel is basically forward and the plane would then be able to land. And now right now our wheel looks pretty wimpy, so we're definitely going to beef that up a bit as well. So we're just going to, I'm going to put the default state of the wheel about right there and something like that. And then we can go ahead and hit in, bring up our properties panel, toggle down the grease pencil, and I'll just remove that layer. And it seems we have another one in there as well, which I don't know why that one is showing. Ah, here we go. Delete that. And delete that. Well, instead we can just hit D and right click, draw across that, and that will just remove it. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to select this, and I also want to go ahead and separate out some of these pieces. So let's go and select this one. We'll select this, 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 and this. And these will be our main uh, bottom pieces. Although, actually, I guess we've got that whole section in there. So let's go ahead and deselect all of this back here, all of this, all of this. And then we'll deselect these vertices right here. So then we can just separate it out right here. So I'm going to hit P, separate the selection, and then I'll select this, hit 3 to go back into edit mode, or 3 to go to side view, hit tab to go into edit mode, and let's go ahead and kind of start figuring this out. So first let's go ahead and add in our basic hydraulic system. So I'm going to select this, and I'm actually going to use it as a starting point. So I'm just going to hit shift D, right click, then I'll just rotate this around. I can go and hit comma to rotate around the individual center. I'm going to move this down here, and then we're going to deselect this portion, deselect this edge loop by shift right clicking on, or yeah, shift alt right clicking on it. Then I'll hit X, delete vertices. I'm going to select this. I'm going to go and hit alt S, scale it down along the normals to make it smaller. Let's go ahead and I'm going to delete this edge loop. Alt right click on it, hit X, delete edge loop. I'll do the same thing here, and then I'm going to select this loop here, and let's just hit Control plus twice, which adds to our selection, so it just basically goes up and grabs the connecting edges. Let's move this out along the x-axis, just about like that. We'll hit Control l to select the entire thing, bring it in along the x-axis a bit to about there, maybe deselect everything to here, bring this back out along the x-axis some more, and basically what I want to do is just line this up right in here, to fit very nicely. So I'll slide this out a bit more, and then we're actually going to add a bit more meat to this. So I'm going to select these areas. And actually, let's just select this whole thing, and then we'll just deselect that one. Let's pull this out along the x axis, about like that. Let's also grab our wheel, and since it's locked to the center, we can just hit G and X, pull it out as well, add a bit more meat to that. And that will be good. On the wheel, I'm going to go and hit P and separate by selection because I don't actually want, want it yet. Uh, actually, you know what? Just so that we have a good starting point, let's go ahead and just select the wheel and we're going to work on it first. So with the wheel selected in object mode, I want to first just add in a subsurf modifier to it. So let's just go hit shift space, unmaximize our view, go over to the modifiers tab. Let's go ahead and add modifier and subdivision surface. And that looks pretty good like that. Let's maybe boost it up to level two. Optimal display. We'll hit tab to go into edit mode, select everything, W and shade smooth. Okay. Now on the wheel, let's first select this center one. We're going to hit S, scale it up so we've got a nice bulge to the wheel, nice shape. Then let's go in here. And I'm going to delete this center part. So I'll just hit X, delete vertices after selecting it. And let's also go ahead and just hit Shift H to hide everything else so we can focus on just the wheel. I'm going to also, I want to recenter my origin such that it's centered nicely. So I'm going to Alt right click to select this loop, Shift S, cursor to selected. And then let's hit Tab to leave edit mode and we'll hit Control Alt Shift C, which will recenter the origin. And we can choose Origin to 3D Cursor. And that will recenter right there. The other easy way to do that, if you can't remember the hotkey, is just hit Space to bring up the search menu and type in Origin. And then it's set origin like that. Okay, hit three to go back to side view, hit tab to go into edit mode. And then I want to select these two loops by alt shift right clicking. I'm going to hit E to extrude, bring it out, and we'll bring it out just a bit. Let's go ahead and I'm going to hit select this one, and I hit V to split it apart. And we'll go ahead and scale our let's 
alt right click to select this the inside one we'll hit s scale it down a little bit so this is actually the tire and we could add in say uh an edge loop here we'll bring it down a little bit so it's control r slide it in hit g and x bring it out a little bit so we've got a little bit of bulge in there and then we can go ahead and select this bring it out along the x-axis hit e to extrude scale it out and then we'll extrude it in again. And so right now what I'm doing is basically just kind of creating detail as I see fit. I do have a image of a an actual plane wheel uh, pulled up on my other monitor just as a general reference. So, you know, if you were to pull it up, you could kind of see where I'm getting some of the detail in here. But I'm basically just kind of adding things. You know, it's very simple geometry. It's all just uh, straight loops. I might go ahead and select this portion over to the uh, materials. I'm going to remove the green material. Oh, and I suppose I have to leave edit mode. Mo remove the green, and I'm going to remove the yellow, and I'm going to add in a new gray. I'm going to duplicate it. I'm going to call this a light gray, so I can separate out from the tire and the other material. And so then I'll hit tab to go back into edit mode, and I'll click assign on here. Oh, I suppose I already had a light gray, so instead we'll just grab that one rather than creating a second one. And then I can go in here, I'm going to select this and this, I'm gonna hit S and Shift X to just expand it out without actually changing its width or anything. And then I'll add in another edge loop right up to there. Maybe another one right up to there. I can scale it to make it a little bit more accurate. Then I'll grab this, maybe pull it in along the X axis a bit. Pull it back out, extrude in again. So I'm just hitting E to extrude and then scaling in a bit. I'll go ahead and extrude this in most of the way to about there. So about the right size for the axle. And then I'm gonna go ahead, hit E to extrude, pull it up just a little bit. And then I will extrude out a fair bit. And this will actually be the, the axis, or the, excuse me, the axle. <laughs> And I'll extrude out again, so I'll hit E to extrude, X, lock to the X-axis, E to extrude, S to scale it in, bring it in just a little bit so I've got a sharp edge, and then I'll extrude in one more time to about here. And this is actually a hollow tube, so I'll extrude in again, and then one more time, and then I'll go ahead and bring this in a, well, actually I can go ahead and bring it in a fair bit to there. And that will give me a nice tube. I can go ahead, I wanna add in the treads to the tire, so I'm just going to add in, say, uh, five loops, or however many loops that is. I'm gonna hit Alt-S, scale out, or let's see, we actually need to do this kind of more one at a time. So I'll first add in two loops, Alt-S, scale it out till we've got a nice bulge. Then I'll add in uh, two loops here, scale those out, two loops there, scale. And again, I'm using Alt-S to scale out, so that scales them along the normals and allows me to keep a nice smooth surface. Now you notice I might need to do a little bit of tweaking in here to keep this nice and round. And if I wanna scale them all, I can just hit S and Shift X to exclude along the X axis. And I just want to look at this profile right in here. And if you're scaling one at a time, then you can just use a just normal scale. You don't need to constrain it to an axis or anything. And that looks pretty good. Maybe this inside one, we'll go ahead and bring it in, kind of forming the side walls there. And then I'm just going to uh, add in a loop at every other one. About like that, I'll go ahead and select them. And then I'm gonna hit S and Shift X scale them way down and that will create a fairly basic tire and maybe i could go ahead and grab these i'll hit shift space to unmaximize my view go to the modifiers disable the clipping pull these out along the x-axis a little bit and then i'll select this one enable clipping again hit e to extrude pull it back in which just kind of averages out the the tread shape in there maybe i could slide these ones over a little bit these ones over a bit more and now this one looks a bit small there we go that ought to work pretty well you know most of these details you're no one's ever going to see because they're really close but I like them anyway 
And so let's go ahead and leave that. We'll hit Alt H to unhide everything. And now, you know, we might go and add in some more detail on the wheel itself. You'll notice on the drawing here, we've got some some holes in the the uh, metal part of the wheel. But for the time being, we're not going to worry about that because I want to do a little bit more work with these. So let's select this part and hit Tab to go into edit mode. And I'm actually just going to go ahead and select these portions here. And I'm going to hit E to extrude and or excuse me, just select them, hit X, delete vertices. Because now I'm going to go ahead and select this part. I'm going to hit G and X, pull them in along the X axis, about like that. Um, I might go ahead and hit Alt S, scale them down a little bit. I'm going to select this edge loop and hit X, delete edge loop. And then I'll select all of these along with this, pull it in along the X axis to about there. And then maybe I'll go ahead and select the entire thing pull it in a little closer to the x-axis about like that should be about perfect and actually I'm gonna go ahead and I don't really like the way that this is shaped so I'm just gonna select these hit X and delete vertices then I will select hit 3 to go to side view I'm going to select this we well, actually I'm gonna hit X delete vertices I'm just gonna re-grab this circle hit E to extrude pull it back just straight like that and then I will select this one and I'm going to go ahead and hit shift D right click uh, R Z and 90 to rotate it around the 90 degrees around the X axis or Z axis position this right about in here hit one to go into front view and I'll hit S X and zero to straighten it out move this in about like that I'm gonna hit E to extrude bring it over so I'm creating a um, a piece for it to attach to. You know, I'll go ahead and bring this over a little bit. I can go ahead and hit Alt S, scale those down just a little bit more. Then I'll go ahead and grab this section. I'm going to hit E to extrude, right click, scale it down, and I'll hit E to extrude one more time, right click, W, and merge at center. Because now when I extrude this, it'll just extrude along the normal, about like that. And I can take it in, yeah, somewhere like that just for the time being. And then I'm going to grab this section. I'm going to hit S and Shift X, scale it up a bit. And then I'll hit E to extrude, or I'm going to add in two edge loops here. And I'll hit S and X, scale them up. And then I'll Alt, Alt right click and Alt Shift right click to select these. Hit E to extrude, right click, S and Shift X to extrude and scale them in. And then I'll left click, hit E to extrude again, S, and then Shift X, scale them in one more time to about right there. And then I'm going to repeat that again. And then I'll re repeat one more time, but I'm going to scale in along the x-axis about like that. Now I want to go ahead, unmaximize my view. I'm going to add in a subsurf modifier. Bring this in, add in level 2, optimal display. Select everything, W and shade smooth. Hit control in. And then I want to go ahead. I'm going to, let's see. Let's first select these, and actually, I'm going to select this, and then I'm going to deselect this portion. I'm just going to hit X, delete those vertices that I just added. I'll select this, and you'll notice that the shape has gotten all wonky on here due to scaling along the normals that some of them were not correct, so I'll just hit X, delete those vertices, and then I'm going to select one of these. Hit Shift D, right click, R, Z, rotate it around the 90, 90 degrees around the x-axis. I'll pull this in about like that. I can go ahead and scale it up a little bit. Pull it out along the y-axis to about there. Hit E to extrude, take it along the y-axis. And then what I want to do is I want to merge these together. So I'm going to go ahead, hit Shift H in object mode to isolate these. Hit Tab. And I'm going to select these two, hit Shift H to isolate them as well. And then I want to hit one to go into front view and zoom in here. And then I want to grab this one. I'm going to hit Control Shift Tab, switch to vertex snapping. I'm going to hit G, X, and snap to there. Select this one, do the same thing, snap to there. So that's hit G, X, hold down Control, and snap. 
is then what I will do is I will also add in a loop right in the center, which will connect here. And I can delete this vertex and then I will go ahead and grab these two or this one. I'll hit G Z snap to there. Just like this one snap to there. And then I'm going to go ahead and start merging these. So I'll select these two hit or four hit F these ones hit F. And so I will do this with each one of them. Now, I don't know why those ones are green, but that's all right. Okay, select everything, control N, shift space, go to the materials. Uh, let's just remove the green and the yellow from this because the dark gray is the only material on the bottom here. I'm going to add in another edge loop right in here to just sharpen that up just a little bit. Select everything, W and Shade Smooth. I'll hit Alt H in object mode and that gives me that connector very nicely. And maybe on the wheel, I'll go and select this. I'm gonna grab, say these sections, I'll hit Control Plus to increase my selection. And then I'll just pull these out along the X axis, add in another edge loop along there, slide it out. Add in another one to about there. Then maybe I'll add one more to there. Select these, hit E to extrude, right click, S and Shift X. Scale it out a bit. Add in two edge loops, scale them out along the X axis. Add in another one there, bring that out. And there we go. Now these are small enough details. You could probably just go ahead and crease some of these. So like if we deleted that edge loop, then select this, hit Shift E and crease that. That would work since these are really smaller, much smaller details. And maybe we'll go ahead and do that on a few of these just to save some, some polygons. So I'll select them, hit Shift E, do the same thing, maybe right here. Shift E and then one on the number pad. And then we can go ahead and remove these edge loops. Now you'll notice some of these kind of remerged differently. So you just need to redo the, the crease on them. There we are. And maybe we'll do this one. There we go. So that still looks pretty good. Not as good, but good enough that, you know, we don't really need to, to worry about it. And it will save us some topology and thus some memory as well. There we go. Um, I don't recommend doing the creasing so much on the, on larger details, but on small details like this, it actually works pretty well. Okay, so now let's go ahead and let's do this housing just a little bit. So I'm going to hit Alt H and let's select these faces and these faces. And we're going to go ahead. Uh, let's hit Control Tab, go into Edge Mode real quick. Deselect this one because now we can just delete these faces. We'll hit X and delete faces. And then I want to go ahead and start sharpening some things up. So let's add in an edge loop right to there. And we'll add in another one down to there. And then uh, let's go ahead and I want to connect this in here. And so the way this is going to work is we're going to add in a protrusion right here that this will then be able to connect to. So let's add in an edge loop, slide it up over to here, hit control tab, go to vertex mode. And then I'm going to select this portion. I'm going to uh, let's see. Uh, yes, we're just going to hit E to extrude, take it up just a little bit, and then we'll extrude it up again, about to there. And we'll go and hit S, Z, and zero to scale down to the Z, zero along the Z axis. And then we'll extrude in up one more time. We're going to add in two more edge loops, and we'll scale them out along the Y axis there. Now, there's a specific reason that I'm not using creasing on this part, and that is because I want a perimeter face all the way around here, like this. Oops, 
like that, because I'm going to go ahead and select this vert face and this face, both of these, hit E to extrude, right click, S, Shift X, scale them down, and then I'll do that one more time, and then I will go ahead and hit X and delete faces, or actually, no, let's not do that, so then I'm going to select this one, I'm going to hit Control Shift Tab, make sure I'm in Vertex Snap, hit Control Tab, go back to Vertex Mode, hit E to extrude, right click, or excuse me, E to extrude, E to extrude, X to lock to the x-axis, hold down control, snap right to there, left click, hit X, delete faces, select everything, W, remove doubles, and then select this face right in here, hit X, delete faces, and now I have a tube right through the center there. And because now I can go ahead and select this part, and notice that this angle is not right again. And so what I'm going to do is we're just going to... Let's see. Let's just rotate this around until it's roughly straight. About like that. And then we'll just select these, rotate them around to basically zero. And then we can just go ahead and scale them along the y axis to zero to get them rest the way. You know, they're not exact, but that's probably okay. So let's just hit R, Z, rotate around, left click, S, Y, and 0. And then we can select this whole thing. We'll rotate down to about here. We'll go ahead and pull it out along the x-axis to be about like that. And then I'm going to add in an edge loop to about here. So then I can just select this edge loop, hit X, delete vertices. And then I want to add an attachment here, so I'm going to go ahead and select, say, these two loop vertices here, I'm going to, or loops. I'm going to hit Shift-D, right-click, S, and Shift-X to scale it down just a little bit. Then I'll hit S and X to scale out along the X-axis a little bit. And then I'm going to hit Control-Tab, go into Edge Mode. I'm going to right-click, Alt-Right-Click on here, and Alt-Shift-Right-Click on here. So I've only got the edges, but no edges in between, because now I can hit E to extrude, right-click, S, X, Scale it out along the x-axis, about to there, and I'll do that again. Extrude, S and X, bring it out, and then I'll go ahead and deselect everything, select these ones, hit F, select these ones, hit F, and then I'm going to add in two edge loops here, S and X, scale them all, or let's see, Control shift tap, make sure I'm in vertex mode, S, X, snap to there, and then I will scale, hit S, and shift X, scale them out just a little bit. Then I'll hit E to extrude, right click, S, shift X. Oops, except now I need to go back to vertex mode. And there we go. I can go ahead and maybe remove that extra edge loop. And then I will hit, select this edge, shift E, one, do the same thing here. Select everything, W and uh, Shade Smooth. And then I'm going to select these vertices, hit X, delete vertices. I'll select all of these, except not those. And then I'm just going to go ahead and hit Shift D, right click, S, X, negative one to mirror it, bring it over along the X axis. And then I can just snap along the x-axis to that vertex, select everything, W, and remove doubles. You can see it rem removed four, because you just merged those together. And uh, maybe on, on this, just to help show some separation, I'll go ahead and give this the light gray material. So I'll just add in a new one, give it the light gray, click assign, and there we go. So now I want to go ahead and merge these together and or bring this down to connect there. And so the way that I'm going to do that is first let's go ahead and select this. Hit Shift H to hide everything else. I'll hit Tab to go into object mode as well and Shift H to hide everything else there. And on this we're going to add in a little bit more shape to this. I'm going to select this and I'm going to hit G, X, snap to there. Same thing there. And then let's just flatten, or actually let's just select these edges. There 
There we go. And we'll hit Shift E and one, bring those up. And immediately that adds a lot more shape to that. Now let's maybe go ahead and improve it. If we say add in an edge loop across to here, if we actually let's undo that and we're going to hit control tab switch or control shift tab switch to increment and then we can add in the edge loop and then hold down control and it'll snap along the increments so we can get those more precise there we go so we've got a lot more shape on there so it's rather than just being a boring tube and then maybe we'll actually even add in a bit more let's select this edge loop we're gonna hit x delete edge loop same thing with this bottom one and then we're going to add in two edge loops by hitting control r control r there and we'll select both of these hit e to extrude right click and alt s just raise those up add in a nice ridge to those we'll select let's hit control tab go into edge mode we're going to select those edges those edges, those edges, and these ones, along with these ones. There we go. So we've got all those selected. We're going to hit Shift E and 1, bring those together. And then we need to go ahead, hit Control Tab, go into Vertex Mode. And we just want to select the ends on both sides with B, hit X, and delete faces. And so now that piece has a lot more shape to it. Now, really, we probably should have sent these out along the sides. Um, but that is okay. So what we're going to go ahead and do is... I want to, let's see. Let's go and hit Alt H to unhide everything. And we're going to select, or okay, we're going to, let's see, because we need to add an attachment to here. And so what I want to do is let's add in an end cap to this. So I'm going to add another edge loop, slide this down. Let's select this, hit X, delete vertices. We're going to grab these here and actually let's just go ahead and hit F fill a face fill a face then we will select these and we're gonna hit control shift tab vertex mode we're gonna hit E to extrude shift X snap to there E to extrude shift X snap to there and again Maybe we'll scale down. Okay, it doesn't quite line up, that's okay. So we'll just fill these manually. Actually, I guess we don't need that extra edge loop, so we'll delete that edge loop. Because then we can just fill in the face here, and here, here, and here. And we'll add in an edge loop all the way down to the edge. We'll select this whole thing assign our dark gray and then I want to select all of these edges deselect the interior edges and we'll hit shift E oops I've still got two more in there shift E and one hit enter Okay, and now we need to punch a hole in here. So we're going to hit Control Tab, go into Vertex Mode, add in a new edge loop to right about there. We're going to hit Control Tab, go to Face Mode, select these faces, and we're going to hit E to extrude, right click, scale them down. E to extrude, right click, scale down a little bit, and then hit X, and actually we'll just go ahead and bring them over along the X axis to there. So hit E to extrude, snap to there, and then we're going to des deselect these all these faces, hit X, delete faces. So then we'll just grab these faces and these faces by Alt, Shift, right clicking on them. Hit Shift, D, 
G, X, snap right there, select everything, W, remove doubles. You can see it removed eight of them, but we still have some in here that didn't remove. So like this one, we need to go ahead and snap to that vertex. Uh, this one here, snap to there. That one's okay. Snap that and snap that. Select everything, W, remove doubles. Removed four more, so then we can just hit Control N, fix that. And then we need to go ahead and select these and hit S and Shift X, scale them away from each other. And maybe these ones as well. And we'll do these ones. And so we're just kind of recreating the circle in there. Maybe we'll bring these over a bit more and these a bit more. And at this level of small detail, you know, you're really not going to notice if those aren't perfectly square or perfectly round. And so that's okay. And let's see. Now I want to go ahead and put in the connecting piece between these. And basically what that's going to be is we're just going to select this pin. We're going to hit Shift D, duplicate it, move it up here. And maybe we need to go ahead and hit S and Shift X, scale that down a little bit such that it fits. Or actually, you know what? Let's leave that at the right size and instead we will scale this. So we'll just hit S, Shift X, bring it up to about right there. Or I guess that's a little too big. There we go. That fits. And now we're just going to put a beam between these to line them up. So I'm just going to say, let's just select this piece and this piece. We're going to hit Shift S, cursor to selected. We're going to go over to the modifiers panel, turn off our clipping option for a moment. So we can now hit Shift A, add in a cube, scale it down to about there, and then we'll scale it up along the Z axis. Go over to front view, hit S and X, bring it over about like this. Move it over along the x-axis until it fits there, about like that. Hit 3 to go to side view again. We'll hit S and Y, scale it up, about like that. So I'm going to add in two edge loops. We'll hit Control r scroll up, S and Z. Um, so we've got about a point, or actually take it up to the top. And we'll do that again until we have basically a square right here to a, extrude a circle out of. So we're going to go, let's add in two edge loops here. Scale that out about like that. And then we'll go ahead and we're going to hit E to extrude, right click, S and Shift X. Scale these down about the same size. Uh, we'll hit uh, Control Tab, go back to vertex mode. Let's scale these in a little bit along the Y axis to make them a little bit more square. We actually hit N to bring up our properties panel, enable edge length, and we can see that this is 0.174. Or and 0 0.0171, so those are close enough to square. I'm not gonna gonna worry about it. And then I'll go and hit. Uh, let's see, we're going to deselect this side. We're gonna hit E to extrude, snap over to there, select everything, W, remove doubles, and then we'll delete that face. We can hit Control Tab, go to Edge Mode, select these, and select these. Shift E and one. Select everything, W and Shade Smooth, Control N if needed. And then we're just going to hit Control Tab, go to Face Mode, select these faces, hit X and Delete Faces. We'll select all of these then by Shift Alt, right clicking on them. We're going to hit Shift D, Z, bring them down, and then just snap them right there. Select everything, W, remove doubles. And then we'll go ahead and select this. And hit Control tab go back to vertex mode, and then just we're going to rotate this around. We can see that right now it's not quite the right size, so let's go back to vertical. We'll grab this, say we'll pull it up about there, and then we'll grab this part, deselect the pop top by hitting B, middle click and dragging, pull it down a bit, select this, rotate it around, bring that one out there, deselect this, pull this one over. And that looks pretty darn close. Uh, maybe we'll go ahead and I'm going to add in two edge loops here. And then I'm going to select this. And I'm going to hit period to scale around the cursor. Hit Shift D, right click, SX, negative one. Flip that around. And then I'm going to go ahead and select these loops. 
and then rotate around, hit B, middle click and drag across there, hit E to extrude, snap over to there, uh, select all the vertices, hit X, delete faces, select everything, W, remove doubles, and then you can see I've added in basically a crossbar there to add extra strength, hit Control in to fix the normals, maybe we'll add in two edge loops, scale them out along the x-axis, and there we go. Now, I could maybe rotate those around a little bit, but that's okay. Um, actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and select these and these. Um, well, let's see. If I select these, hit S and Shift X. Now that'll shrink it down too, so I'm not going to worry about it. And so that works out pretty well. Okay, so that pretty much puts together the the wheel assembly right in there. Over here, um, I'm just going to basically, well, I need to add in the piston part. So let's add in, say, a piston. We'll add in the edge of the piston right here so it can just expand out. So then I'll add in another loop, select it here, select this one, Shift or S and Shift Y. Oops, and right now I'm scaling towards the cursor, so hit comma, S, Shift Y. Scale that way up uh, to about right there, maybe. And then I'm going to go ahead and select this. I'm going to hit V to rip it apart. And then I'll select this loop, pull it back along the Y axis a little bit. I'll grab this one, pull it way in along the Y axis. And I'm going to actually, we'll select this part, Shift Space. I'm going to assign the light gray material. There we go. Then we'll add in another loop right up to there. We'll go ahead and select this loop, hit Shift E and 1. Strengthen that up. And then this side we're not actually going to show because it's going to come into here. We're going to grab this box. We'll pull it down a bit more. Grab it in right here. I'm going to grab these, pull them over. And this is going to be the housing unit for this. So I'm going to add in, say, two edge loops. And then I'll bring them in along the x-axis. And I'll add in another loop right here. And then I'm going to delete all of these faces. Hit X, delete the faces. I'll select this loop. I'm going to hit, uh, actually, I'll select these as well. Hit E to extrude. Pull it in along the y-axis to about there. And actually, you know what? I'm going to select all these. Hit E to extrude, pull it in along the y-axis. I'm going to deselect all of these. I'm going to pull these up along the z. And then I will select these ones as well. Extrude them along the z-axis. Select just these two, pull them in along the y. And then I will fill in a face right there and right there. I will go ahead and select these, this edge. Hit Shift E and 1. Actually, that doesn't work very well to sharpen those, so instead I'm just going to use two edge loops. Scale along the x-axis. I'll select these, except for the bottom. Uh, except for that one there and that one there. And I'm just going to hit E to extrude. Snap over to that vertex. And then I'll snap to that one. Select everything, W, and remove doubles. That will give me that component in there, and then I want to just go ahead and select this. I'm going to deselect this portion, hit S, X, or S, or excuse me, uh, S, Y, and 0, snap over to right there. And then I can select all of this, hit E to extrude, bring it out, add in another loop right up to there, select these, Bring them over, over there. And right in here, I will go ahead and remove these vertices and these vertices. And then I will connect these right here. So I'm going to select these, hit E to extrude, snap to there, snap to there, and finally snap to there. Select everything, W, remove doubles. Then I'll select this edge and extrude out to there. Select everything, W, remove doubles. There we are. And so then this right here, actually I really ought to bring 
this back a bit more like that, and then I'll add in another, another loop. And so then this is where the, the end of the piston will be, which for this, I'm just going to go ahead and select this and select this loop like this, just about like that. I'm going to hit Shift D, right click, S, Y, and negative one. And then I'm going to move it way over here, snap along the Y axis to right like that. Then I will also, um, we're going to pull it, we're going to scale, scale up until it's about right, move it over along the Y axis, and then I also scale, or I guess that's about as close as I'll get it. So I'll scale down just a little bit, move it over along the Y, select everything, W, remove doubles, didn't quite get it. So I'll just hit S, Y, scale to zero. Now I'll just, let's see, I should be able to just scale this up. So I'll hit S and shift Y, and that's not wanting to grab it. I'll just move, need to move along the x-axis a little bit. And there we go. So I just got it close enough to go ahead and connect. And so then I'll select everything, control N, select this whole piece. And I want to add in the, the light gray, so I'll just click Assign. And then you can see I need to go ahead, select this, move it over a bit more. I'll hit Shift L, hovering over the piston, to uh, exclude it. I'll add another edge loop right here. And you can see I need to make this a lot deeper. So I'll grab these vertices, pull them up along the z-axis there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and select these two. Or I'll grab the two. I'll just grab one of these first. No, nope, actually I'll grab both just like Like that, there we go. I hit Shift D, right click, S and Shift X just a little bit. Go and hit E to extrude, S, X, scale it out so it's just in the wall. And then I will go in here and select this loop and just hit G, X, snap over to there. Select both of them, W, remove doubles, and then I'll hit X and delete edge loops because I don't need that in there. And then you can see that this is not quite wide enough, so I'll deselect all the outsides here and I'll hit S and X scale up just a bit like that I could also move it along the x-axis just a little bit then I'll select everything W and shade smooth okay so that's starting to get the wheel unit um, got a bit more to do uh, still need to add in the the piston for this part, which will come from right in here. And so what I'm going to do is let's just say, let's just grab this, this, and I'm going to hit Shift D, right click, um, S, Y, negative one, pull it back along here. I'm going to scale it down just a bit. And then I'm also going to make this a bit longer along the Y axis. Then I'll go in here. I'm going to Select all this, I'm going to hit X, delete the faces, and I'll select this edge and snap up to there, select everything, W, and remove doubles, because I don't want those in there. I'll select this, I'm going to pull it up right to here, I'm going to rotate it around to roughly match this, or actually, you know what, let's just go ahead, I'm going to position it right about in here, actually, before I rotate that, I need to go ahead and make it much, much longer, about like that. And I'll select this, whoops, select this and this. And then I'm going to go ahead and rotate this down. I'll move it in here. Position, actually, I'm going to move it about like this, uh, no, we'll just go ahead and leave it about in there. Position right in here. A 
Well, let's see. That's really <clears throat> not quite right. I'm going to hit Control-Z, undo this a few times. And for these pistons, I'm going to go ahead and select this. I'm going to hit P, separate by selection. And I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Uh, and then this is just to keep them separate, so then I'll be able to rotate them a little bit better. Oh, and I missed a part right here. So then these two ought to join together. I'll go ahead and grab this one. And what I want to do is we're first going to get rid of the mirror modifier on it because we don't need it. And we'll go back in here. I'm going to hit Control Alt Shift C and Origin to Geometry. And then I'm going to go and hit N, bring up the Properties panel. And underneath the Transform panel, I'm going to set the X location to zero, and that will move it back to the origin point. I'll be sure to save my file. And then what I want to do is we're going to go in here. We actually shorten this a bit more. Maybe I made it a little bit too long. We'll select everything, maybe move it back over here, approximately around the origin point. I'm going to move it back. I want to position it right about in here. And so we're going to then uh, rotate this down something about like this. Pull it back along the y-axis about there. I'm going to select this, hit tab, go into edit mode. I'm going to select this, or excuse me, uh, here we go, this piece. I'm going to hit shift S, cursor to selection. And then I will select this and this and this. I'm going to hit period to rotate around the cursor. Hit R, rotate down about like that. And then I will go ahead and bring this over along the y-axis a bit more. I can go ahead and bring it up, match this angle right in here, then bring it back through here. Actually, maybe we'll just go right about to there. Select these, add in a new edge loop right here, and then I will select these, hit X, delete the vertices. I want to go ahead and cap this off. And so then I will select all of these. Actually, I'll just go ahead and select these one at a time. Fill those edges or faces. And I know that I've got the center edge right in there that I still need to do. So then I'll add in the edge loop right across to there. And then I'll select this vertex. And then this one, hit W and merge at last. Same thing over here. And then I'm from the side view, I'm going to add in a new edge loop right up to there. Select all this. Go over to the materials. Assign our dark gray. And then I want to go ahead and we're just going to bring this in along the x-axis a bit more. We'll select these and these. Bring them in a bit more. Then I'm going to select this and I want to select all of this except for this loop and this loop. And then I'm going to... Actually, I really don't want anything but these outside edges. I'm going to hit S, X, scale them out to about there. And then we're going to go ahead and grab, say, these two loops. I'm going to hit Shift D, right click, S, Shift X, or S and X, bring them out to about there. Then I will go ahead, select one, hit E to extrude, scale down, and one more time, W, merge at center. And then I'm going to select this. And I'll extrude out one more time. And actually, undo that. Instead, I'm just going to select this. I'm going to hit E to extrude, right click, snap it over to there. Select everything, W, remove doubles. I go ahead and add in two edge loops, hit SX, scale them out. About like that. Select everything, W, and... Shade Smooth, 
Control N, remove the black spot, select this, and I'll go ahead and assign our light gray to that. And then in here, I want to go ahead and fix some of this paneling. So I'm going to go ahead and add in a new edge loop down to there. And then I want to remove this section. So I'm going to add in another edge loop up to there and another one across like that. And we're going to start by removing these two vertices, about like that. And let's go ahead and we're going to hit Shift H on this again to hide everything else. And we're going to remove these two vertices. And we're going to grab these and these. We'll extrude out, snap to there, select everything, W and remove doubles. Let's go back into object mode. We're going to hit uh, Alt H to unhide everything, and I'm going to select this, and then this, and oops, this, and this, and then we'll Shift H. So now we can see that. And then I want to go ahead and remove, say, these vertices. Although before I do that, I want to add another edge loop in to right there, and then I will select these, hit X, delete the vertices, and we'll go ahead and slide these over along the x-axis a bit. Let's go ahead and also re-enable our clipping. So we'll pull that out along the x-axis there. That looks pretty good. Let's grab this, pull it out along the x, snap to there. We'll select this edge and we're gonna hit E to extrude, snap to there and there. Select everything, W, remove doubles, control N, it's also select everything and shade smooth. And you can see how this is starting to come together. And let's see, let's go ahead and add in a loop down through here. We'll kind of smooth that out a bit. Let's hit Alt H to kind of see how it's coming together. And you can see that we've got a bit of work to do still. Um, just so that this one part doesn't get too long, I'm going to go ahead and call it quits here, and then we'll pick up in part B of this section.